it's time to catch up with a gifted all-rounder who has stamped his authority in all forms of the game. Bangladesh's charismatic star Shakib Al Hassan is regarded as one of the greatest cricketers to emerge from his country. His contributions have been equally vital with both bat and ball, and he has played a stellar role in his country's victories over the past decade. Shakib is currently among the top three all-rounders in all three formats of the game. He took some time off and spoke to ICC Cricket 360 on his consistent performances, the team's recent run of success, and looking ahead to the future. I love, love taking challenges, so I think that helped me to improve my cricket a lot. It's in my nature uh, from my childhood that I wanted to I wanted to become the best. Whenever there is challenge, uh, it seemed that uh, it helped me to perform well. And to be honest, I, I don't focus on those rankings and all. I just wanted to contribute for the team, whichever team I'm playing for. The Bangladesh Tigers have knocked the England Lions out of the World Cup. One of the greatest days in Bangladesh cricket history. One of the lowest points in English history. The way we have been playing in the last two years, uh, I mean, no one can say that they're going to win easily or they're going to win the game before it starts, especially in ODI format. So, yeah, there are still areas that we can improve, especially in test matches uh, and in T20s. Uh, we have some quality players, we have some very good young players amongst with our, some of our senior players. So, everyone is contributing at this moment, so it's, it's been great so far, but yes, there are areas still we can improve. People in Bangladesh, they, they expect us to beat every team we play. Previously, what used to happen, like if I'm talking about 2005, 2006 or 2007, uh, whenever we beat a big team, uh, people used to celebrate that. Now, it's, it's more like, yes, we are supposed to win because we are a good enough team now. So the expectation level changed a bit, but in a, in a positive way. A lot to do with our coaching staff. They have given us the confidence. They have. Uh, given us all the freedom to go and express, do your best and I think previously that was the lacking part and the self-belief we got at this moment, I think that that's the biggest part we improved. Here we go, last ball through the offside, it's running through, it could be run out! Is he run out? Or is he in? We'll go upstairs, some good work from Tony, he thinks he's got him. India win, can you believe they've beaten Bangladesh by a run? That defeat was like hard heartbroken to us. I still don't know how come we lost that game, but as I said, that, that, that happens in cricket. But to be honest, yes, everyone was, was upset, uh, sad, especially for the people in Bangladesh who are expecting us to win and we, had, we were in such a position that we can't lose that game and from then on we lost that game. It was something that I, I don't think anyone from that team will ever forget that game. What we are looking at, our present form has been great and we need to improve from here on to, to win something big and I think we are not far from that. I think we had a very good World Cup in 2015. Uh, in, in four years time, if most of the players play in, in 2019 World Cup, I think we will be a very good team uh, and we will be a title contender. That's what I believe in.